Hey guys, back at Yellow Lake for a quick couple here. Uh, just driving by, decided to go past a few, see what happens. Um, that's the first one right there. Crystal clear. A lot of traffic on the road behind me. But um, it's Friday afternoon here, so it's rush hour for the area. A lot of turtles on the logs in the area. I will uh, turn this back on when I catch one. Number two. No luck with one. That's okay. So everybody's doing it. It's a lot of people doing it. Pretty good action on this. I have a few variations of this that uh, I've caught fish on each one of them. Not bad. What I said. What I said. As if everybody's doing it. There's a lot of people doing it. I think this is my last lure of the day. Alas. It's been a great day though. I know you're curious. I found that thing on the road in the Soyuz. Got out to, uh, I believe it was go to the bathroom. It usually is. And it's a crocodile with a K. Die number four, Lure Jensen. Hood River, Oregon. 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 Um, getting a little punchy. It's getting late in the day. So, a few more here and we'll uh, see where the adventure takes us. Okay, this concludes an hour or two of fishing here at Yellow Lake, just past Penticton. I can't remember, it's, it's got to be south of Penticton. Just up that way, up the highway, is um, a little town called Sycamus. So we're going to book her up that way and carry on, carry on, see what else we get. For today, had a really good day on this 
beautiful little yellow lake it's called. I didn't catch anything. Two nibbles, two absolutely firm nibbles, as it were. I did, however, zone into the nature experience very effectively, very therapeutically. There were um, a couple of occasions where I uh, saw movement out of the corner of my eye, looked down, there's a turtle, a turtle or two doing its thing in the water, thankfully not interested in my lure, but quite beautiful to observe that. And the wind was constantly shifting on the water, so that I'm looking at it doing the same thing right now on the lake. So it was causing, it caused really interesting patterns as the waves were shifting and coming in. And you kind of lose yourself in the visual of that for a moment. And it, it feels like time stands still if you really allow yourself to immerse into that. So those were a couple of the very therapeutic things that I enjoyed today, even though I didn't catch any fish. I had the tactile experience. We all spend so much time in the virtual world. It's, it's very, very enjoyable to consciously insert yourself into a tactile experience, so to speak, uh, fishing and the like. Going to head up the highway to Sycamus, see if we get some visuals. I'm going to almost certainly do a couple more of these art drops that I'm doing. In case you're not aware, I had a bunch of paintings, abstract acrylic paintings, abstract acrylic pores, and just abstract acrylics that I experimented with. And they were taking up a ton of room in my apartment. So as brilliant as I'm sure they all are, I'm doing these uh, art drops, as I call them, where I place the paintings in quite beautiful scenery uh, spots very often. And I'm taking a photo of that. And then that is becoming an exhibit in, a, in and of itself. And I, I should have about 65 of those really, really nice photos by the time this is done. And um, I'll put that out somewhere as well. So carry on with me and we'll uh, book her up the highway here. Hey, hey, hey.